let's do this. Yes. Lash. Yes. Let's watch, that is. <laughs> For a second, let's watch. I didn't name it a lot. And right now I'm blindfolded, as you can see, because what is today, Gar? Today is uh, April right. Fool's. Yes. And what, what did I do on April Fool's? Uh, was it f actually it's, uh, five years? Yeah. It's, five it's been years. five years already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was at the old ANC World. Yeah. You uh, beat Mike Tyson blindfolded for the very first time? Oh, no, no. That's when I started doing the challenge. Oh, I started doing the challenge. Blindfold. It was April 1st, 2014, okay. guys, when I started doing it. So today is April, April Fool's 2019. So we're going to stream a fantastic documentary. For real. Put together by Summering Salt. It's not a joke. Uh, Gar has not seen it. Uh, no. I have seen it. But you know what? I'm not going to see it now. I'll be even blindfolded. But we're gonna, I'm going to hear it. Oh, you're actually not going to watch it? No, because I've already seen it. This is going to be the first time somebody, whole 40 minutes? somebody watches it blindfolded, guys. It has to be done. It's the oh, first okay. time. Let's I didn't, do it. I didn't even know about this. It's okay. People enjoy it. But the right. only thing is, I won't be able to see the chat, so I guess girl, let me know and I'll, I'll comment if people can are I saying anything. Can I do this? You can punch me. <laughs> I'm not going to know, but it's okay. Okay. All right, guys. I'll read out everything for you. Okay. All right, we're going to start, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Uh, it's a, uh, it's gone viral, guys, if you can believe it. So congratulations, Sunny Salt, you did it. It's got a million, a million, Over one million, million yeah. seventy-six thousand three hundred eighty-eight views. He's, he's, he's definitely has something going. He's, he's, he puts it great editing together and people uh, they watch it I think when Gar watches it he'll notice the time flies you don't even notice that it's 40 okay. minutes so really? he does a great job yes or is it because you're in and you're uh... no I've seen his other videos too they go very fast <laughs> so he's good yep he edits it well it's All like right. watching a movie this one's for you Daniel alright so uh well, what's, are you gonna be okay? You gonna, are you gonna fall asleep? No, I'm not gonna fall asleep. Come on, I, I did the 10 hour blindfold stream. Remember, Gar? You guys were telling me to go home. Remember? Is he still there? Remember yeah, that, well, that don't, morning? What that, do you mean? Don't we have that video somewhere? Yeah, yes. Yeah, so that night I, <laughs> I didn't sleep that day. It was crazy. Did you upload it? That would have been good. I think I, yeah, I definitely archived it. I don't know if I uploaded the 10 hour stream. It. But, yeah. It was an anniversary thing. No, but I did the. 10 hours. <laughs> Just do it. But uh, did you wanna play Tyson at the same time? Punch uh, not at the same time. That would be disrespectful. But maybe, <laughs> maybe right now? following the fight, we'll or for the documentary. Sorry, we'll okay. see. So uh, time. you'll be able to hear it better than me at this point because our audio on the on our headsets is quiet. But like on on stream, it should be normal. So you guys would be able to yeah, right. would be able to hear it normally. Let's do it. Let's watch. Let's watch. Or I'm gonna hear. Let's hear. <laughs> right. And we'll comment if we can. Mike Tyson slash Mr. Dream with my with. My eyes closed is a dream, I suppose. So you're not going to get to see me beat my face in the ever before. This will be the comic relief of the evening. I'm going to attempt to fight Mr. Dream with my eyes closed, and I'm going to do the Okay, wait, did somebody start, start, start trying this first? I'll fight him no, no. Just fine, but, you know, this, this is the, 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 the yep. blindfolded part, portion of the run is pretty much it. So. Thank you, Chuck. It's very quiet on our end, but uh, have you ever played the game so much? Grab my audio guy. Uh, guys, please. See if it's good on for your side. Everybody, for nearly every game, that's just a dream that can never be accomplished. I can hear better now. But for one game, a boxing game from 1987, a group of gamers have attempted to make that dream a reality. Mike Tyson's Punch Out is a game where reaction and quick decision making is necessary for completion. You've got to look at what the boxers are doing and adjust to play accordingly. Of course. This involves careful reading of the situation in front of you, and in order to do that, you'll have to use your eyes carefully. At least so what, what footage are they using, do you know, in the beginning? Uh, I believe some of it was from Awesome years, Games on Click 2014, when Sinister One was there, during his run. Uh, Summoning Salt also provides uh, all his own footage. Uh, I think he used the uh, emulator to get some, some captions here and there. When your invisible opponents in Gurgle, it may seem like an impossible challenge for most. If there's one thing this fear and community is good at, it's doing the impossible. Alright, so if I heard properly, he was saying, uh, <laughs> Punch-Out community, what we're good at is doing the impossible. And yes, we, we worked together, we did it. That's, uh, one of your things that, uh, I know you want to make the impossible possible. Yes. Oh, D. Tyson, you're number three in the list that he just showed there. I don't know what, I guess... List? Like credits? He shows like a mini credit in uh, the beginning. Okay. Jack White and everything was on there. Yeah. It's impossible to say for certain when blindfolded punch out was initially attempted. There were probably people trying it just for fun back in the eighties and nineties. It's unclear how far they got and it's unclear how many people were trying it. However, as far as this video is concerned, the primary area of focus will be what's out there on the internet. 
stuff with video proof. And that story begins in 2010 at Classic Games Done Quick, the very first edition of the annual charity speedrunning marathon. Andrew G., who at the time held the world record for the original Super Mario Brothers, was there to do a speedrun with the simple goal of beating it as fast as possible. However, he first did an attempt of playing through the game blindfolded. So he's talking about Andrew G right now. Okay. Uh, if Gary doesn't know who he is, he's a legendary speedrunner. Not uh, the cleanest attempt. Had the he Super had Mario Brothers world record beforehand. at one point, so among others. He was still working on that, I believe, in other games. But, but even though he didn't try to blindfold the challenge in Mario, two, that inspired a lot of people. It's still really fun. That was before that I, uh, I even started doing Tyson. Yeah, so, props to Andrew G. <laughs> GG. Tough. Yep. Mario, I think even harder. Yeah, for sure. I don't think anybody's done a whole game yet. Uh, they're the trying. Was into the uh, run. He did a couple was into the run. Yeah, and Pap, and I think was trying. Was having fun. One of those people watching was Sinister One, a future Mike Tyson's Punch Out speedrunner. According to Sinister One, this run ultimately inspired him to try something similar a couple years later. But instead of Super Mario Bros, he would be playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Sinister One. Alright, AGDQ Sinister One was one of the yeah. best Mike Tyson's punch out players in the world when this run was performed in January 2012. But he had achieved all of his personal best in world records with his eyes open. And when playing with eyes open, the rules of punch out are quite simple. The basics of this game are dodging and punching. You must dodge out of the way when your opponent throws a punch, and punch your opponent when you get the opportunity. So, this begs the question. How do you know when to dodge and when to punch you play the game? Or how, uh, how do you find How is playing a game like this while blindfolded even possible? Let's oh, examine the reaction time. Yeah, Glass Joe, time the first of the 14 patterns. fights in Mike Tyson's Punch Out, barely even throws punches at all, so Sinister is able to hit him in the face repeatedly. By hitting him at strategic times, he yeah, earns star punches, has going for it is which are uppercuts that take a lot of damage off the visual cues. Yeah, as well as audio cues, that's what allowed it to first round. Sinister is able to defeat Glass Joe. The second fighter, Von Kaiser, made it a bit tougher on him. He actually threw some punches. But yeah, Sinister However, one, these punches usually came out of the same opinion, he's a true best time. at the game because Since it was just the second fight in the game. challenging the whole game by really and uh, that's why so he was able I saw to dodge him to go up to Tyson and, and then throw himself off. So I was like, come on, man. Just as I know he can do it. I believed in this guy and I wanted to, you know, figure out that maybe there's a way to beat Tyson by and and inspire him to do it. Do you want him to do it first technically? Yes. you end up doing it? Sometimes. You can beat your opponent sooner by having him do it all the way to 10 after dodging an opponent. Now, we'll get onto that, meaning he's knocked out. Uh, Alternatively, you can beat your opponent by decision after three rounds of boxing without a victor. If you get enough points, which are earned from punching your opponent repeatedly, you can be awarded the victory. Talking about points, but, but of course, uh, if you get enough points, you're going to be beaten by decision if people know that. Oh, yeah, Fight yeah, number three, the one side Mr. Honda, was significantly tougher uh, than the first two. His patterns are extremely uh, random, by and his punches are either. He's the only damage. one who uh, Almost stays whenever down on this one left. Uh, Mr. Honda can't get out. Down oh yeah, apparently he's too fat, that's what this they're saying. This is random, and yeah. since he yeah. couldn't yeah. see it coming, yeah. Sinister yeah. usually had no yeah. option yeah. to yeah. take yeah. this yeah. punch when it came yeah. out. He was still able to see from punching the stars, but Honda snuck in his fair share of punches too. After a round and a half of trading knockdowns back and forth, Sinister was finally able to get a 10 count knockout. I'm closing one ear right now. He says, revealing the history and secrets that led you to fight, be the legend Flamenco you are now. That's was quite a bit easier. Alternating left and right punches on him was an infinite combo from so, developers just, uh, that let Sinister knock him down in under Like I say, just putting in the time and the effort, anything can later, happen. And like, Don Flamenco was down, down to I'm not special. Yeah. Uh, anybody Hippo, wants to however, put in the time dedication, you can do it too, trust me. And a lot of people have done it since I have, so it's proof. But getting this knockdown isn't easy. The only time Hippo can be hit is when he opens his mouth. Okay, so he's he has a 3 8 chance of opening right his now. mouth on the strategy. About the strategy right now. So, Sinister essentially had to just guess which punches he yep, opened his mouth on and which ones he had to dodge. Uh, when Sinister one was doing well. it blindfolded, uh, he was doing it mostly well, on instinct. He decided uh, was not to relying on. Uh, and the second time through, it went about for strategies, which he was still to get on the damage. Yeah, but Jack was opening his mouth and left him to deal damage as well. Sinister knocked Hippo down at the start of the round. Using the buffer strategy to make it easier. Okay. He wasn't very tough. Sinister knew that he uh, could be able to punch, dodging, and then delaying the punch to get a star. 
It says even that viewing the history of blindfolded punter requires a blindfold. Yes. Well, it says true, but so, being blindfolded oh, no. the first is always an honor. Relying on just his game knowledge alone, he was able to knowledge alone, he was able to get everybody to the right tag without looking at the screen. He was pretty incredible to watch live. But fight number 7 was bald bull. He more or less had it all. And on the street, semi-random patterns, awkward okay, so delays in between his patterns. He was tougher right, uh, than uh, any of the fights before. Why is, is that for a Mexican runner? Or? I'm not sure actually. Mexican runner, uh... Or is he Mexican? Sinister started off strongly no, by so. executing no. a 17 second yeah, knockout on runner, roll 1 with a bunch of star yeah, punches. And a strategy but, developed uh, by Martin Charlebois more than a decade prior. He continued playing well in front of the second knockdown by Mark 2. He had taken just one point of the fight. From here, it all 2014, 2013, he mistimed nearly all of his dodges and landed right into a bunch of bulls hooks. He got knocked down three okay, times so in under all the and by 156, the fight was over. <laughs> the run was over. Oh, so he'd lost? Oh, he's talking about the AGDQ where he, yeah, he got the ball, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, they only give you one run, eh? Yeah, you don't need to no, that's, that's why I got one chance. See? <laughs> she tried. Not everyone's gonna do it. He made it a little less than no. halfway. That's pretty good though to get a bunch. The bull was the seventh of 14 yeah. fights in punch out. Even the DK was so much more than this they was were. quite yeah. impressive. Just a room. Yeah, people <laughs> love watching. Like that one in the like unique. It's not the same. I guess it's a shoot off of Green Mountain. 2014 was the year they were in the next year. Since the war was a hack and since the war was a hack and since the war was a hack and since the yeah. Brian and the Super Metroid race uh, Super Nintendo was very popular and uh, put on the Once map. again, his practice sport, for this run was extremely sports. limited. <laughs> <laughs> so since he had already done it at a live air on my court, he was happily under the pressure of the awesome man, The first two fights won even more than the 2012. Yeah, getting bigger. He took a little bit of damage, but defeated all the boxers with rolls of ease. He had a new strategy for King Hippo, thanks to longtime punch out player Aino Attack, intentionally draining his stamina over and over. No one Hippo was programmed to always open his mouth when stamina was recovered. Yeah, so I was with my baby. Yeah, you could go just as a viewer as well, but uh, I was invited. Uh, people know this, but uh, he took care of Great go Tiger in 2015, <laughs> and then it was time to uh, uh, face off with the family and circumstances. I oh. decided to stay with my family. My dad had a heart attack not too long before that, so I had to you know, make sure he's okay. Yeah. So I couldn't just, it would, look, it would look bad if I just, you know, leave. A little over a minute into the fight, he had his first family. Family, family first, yeah. people. For sure, but I didn't know what to do. But if you were told, you know, hope that we got to do a grow. This was the exact same situation. Yeah. I'll be back street. though. I, I <laughs> do got a quick I, couple I of that maybe 2020 is a good vision uh, for us. Like like I'll, I'll be there in 2020. Good vision. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Yeah, as long as that's 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 was Wario watching? It was Wario. Thanks for joining. The bull yeah, charge. He just put Nah, nah Mike Tyson here. occurred at two minutes and two minutes and three seconds into the first round. He had to hit bull in the stomach at a specific time to avoid getting knocked out. Right, so right and now they're talking about 2013 or 2014. Possible. I think it was 13. Months. This meant that if he wanted a decent chance at beating Bald Bull, he needed to do it before and Bald Bull again. Yep. And. I'm assuming he had a breakthrough here. He messed up the year before. Yeah, he yeah, beat him. He does a fist pump. Everybody's cracking. He did it. Sinister had officially made it halfway through Mike Tyson's punch out while Mike Is he wearing the card kit? Yeah, yes. He had two. Daniel Sam. He threw really quick punches and he did a lot of official. However, he had one severe weakness. But he did it purposely. When he did his bonsai attack, which occurred a couple of times in the round, the player can and hit him in the stomach but, uh, and not just knock him down. Okay, I, I like wearing hey, black because uh, Mike Tyson only wears black for a 15th uh -huh. of a second. That's hard enough to do normally. Really, really, really so with a really blindfold like on, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. No, I mean the the but blindfold. All since oh, the blindfold. Yeah. Is correctly oh, because I'm wearing black. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Although, not not any other reason. Although, I don't know if people know this, but when Mike Tyson first started his professional boxing career, he was not wearing black trunks. He's actually wearing white. I think I saw that. He's wearing Adidas white trunks with red trim because Muhammad Ali is his idol, and he wore white sometimes during his fights. That's why. The audio okay, everybody? I hope so. I think everything's okay. No one said anything. Because again, it's just quiet on our end. Actually, Tyson, uh, he I think he's still wearing black. He just well, what happened? Hit that full frame oh, no. he beat up. Oh, he got knocked out by a... Uh, halfway through the game. That's what he got, too. Oh, well. I was going to say, yeah, Tyson, I think he's only started wearing black trunks once, uh... 
his mentor, Customano, passed away. I think it was around there. It could be a, a fight before that. or Mark Black has been like that. It could a be, yeah. Like if, uh, Mr. Rowan was uh, again. Thing for Mike, yeah. And as usual, his Twitch right, streams so for the past weeks involved no plans for the play. Showing all these Twitch streams that he's People have been asking him how far he thought he would make it this year. But Sinister so won and kept his lips to run. So, now when he started his run on Friday after the expectations weren't too ridiculous. Just as in previous years, fight by fight, he it's took the care of the early box yeah, yeah. 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 Train, train montage, basically. Like Rocky. Yeah. Good for you, man. He eventually yeah. made it to Bald Bull. That's a lot of time. And, this time and he never beat Tyson in years? He timed well, nearly all of his dodges directly. He beat him he says, without uh, taking a single line. I wasn't expecting to get that far. Yeah. Yeah. He beat Bald Bull. Then it was on to the second half okay. of the game. Every year, he beat looks bigger. There's always a bigger room every year. You notice that, right? Yeah, it's not the fourth team. It's big. The night before, the where, where, where is it located? Zallard and Contra speedrunner DK28 uh, was in Washington at the time. Discussed their upcoming DQ runs. Uh, like Although Sinister hasn't told anybody about any blindfolded preparation this year, he had a surprise to tell these guys. Offline from his Twitch stream, he had been extensively practicing blindfold and punch out. And he was prepared to at least have a chance at making it all the way to the last fight in the game. Mike Tyson. See, it turns out in the past there have been a couple other players who found great success playing blindfolded punch out. They weren't at ADDQ or anything, but they were offline. One of them was a guy I mentioned earlier, the end of the the sinister one run because I was working at the time. Yeah, Mike Tyson. Sure. So when I saw it, I think he was on. There's no video. Super Macho Man. He is verified to be a skilled player. Oh, he So I got to see that that little bit of that fight and then the Tyson fight. Historic time. Sinister one made the last accomplishment. But there was another I was, I was that there. more inspiration. Were you inspired? A guy known as I was, but then I was also disappointed that he didn't you know, saw he didn't push himself to finish it. Time, but but I mean, you're an I got inspired to put in the time to try you're himself. After a lot of practice, we all inspire each other. You know, he inspired me to even try it, so I'm try it otherwise. So that's the first half of this run is apparently yeah, lost due to technical difficulties. But what still exists today shows the third and the tenth fight of the game. He then defeats Bald Bull 2, Don Flamenco 2, Mr. Sandman, and after losing the Super Macho Man twice, takes him down in dramatic fashion. It's time to be gaming. It's time to be gaming. It's time Yes, the legend, the Tysonator. Yep, he's a legend. Yeah, this is Jack Wedge. Right? Jack Wedge? The only fight left after Super Macho Man is the incredibly difficult Mike Tyson, who obviously did not be blindfolded. I'll talk more about strategies for these fights later, but he had a nearly flawless knowledge of the opponent's patterns and had a plan for just about every situation. This late in the game, the opponent's punches deal a ton of damage, so he had to be right. The fact that Schmitty, a player with essentially no speedrun experience, was able to make it all the way to Mike Tyson and hold on inspired Sinister to take it a bit more seriously. But of course, oh, the, the viewers catch. watching right now, did you guys uh, this watch this, uh, this event as it happened in 2014? Since the one we had to perform uh, live so in front of dozens less, of excited audiences, I was working by the watch the end of the live. This is not all the things here. I was showing all the things here. Yeah, me, I was never feeling like that. I was showing 91,000 people watching live. Nobody except for the people in 2014. Yeah, there's a lot. Watching the fight in the game was not last year. How many people watch this documentary? I'm sure most of the people here watch it, right? Yeah, how many of you have seen the uh, Southern Salt Dark Retreat? I haven't. Where's he now? He's at the... Sorry, well, he just beat up uh, Piston Honda, I so guess, uh, part, two, part two. That's where that, So that was the this first time we got he had on the uh, audio, audio event he got by Piston Honda. Yeah. Throw the yeah. punch. So it was one... Uh, uh, sorry, blip sorry Warwolf says, ADDQ 2020, three-way blindfold of Tyson race. Sinister knew it was the right time to throw the gut punch to Honda. So that's not With Honda 2 out of the way, Sinister attempted to make his way as far into the rest of the game as he could. Just Tyson fight. Yeah, the remaining fights Tyson were going to be incredibly just said Tyson, tough, though. Just but Tyson, because yeah. of all his practice, he was prepared. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best, but this, this guy can't. Oh, I think it happened one try. Yeah. Fight number nine was Soda Popinski. One shot. He had a specific eight. quirk that made beating him a bit easier. So Whenever he crouched down to throw an uppercut, he could press down on the controller, and Soda would stay frozen in place. Yeah, so he can then hit him to get a star punch, and, uh, and using the star punch will automatically knock him down no matter what. So the there were a couple of problems, however. Just talk about, uh, when he does the uppercut and you duck, or you block, you just stay there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. And even when he does throw an uppercut, he can randomly delay before he gives him some time. Given that you can't see this delay, you kind of just have to guess whether or not to throw the punch. 
So, Sinister was trying to survive all of the random hooks and delays that Soda gave to wait for an uppercut, so he could get the star punch for the knockdown. He recorded two knockdowns in the first round, and got knocked down himself in round two, but was finally able to get the TKO after getting some uppercuts. What do you think so far, Gordy? Like, Next up uh, was Bold the pace of it, the editing is His good. punches yeah, are generally good. thrown at I mean, the same I'm time sure you fight. you remember how much editing we had to do with our retro reviews. So this, this, this is a 40 minute video. It's great. Disaster, disaster, like, which is exactly what happened to Sinister in the first like, minute of the fight. Hours, uh, he pulled it together, though, yeah, and was able to even yeah. counter the bull charge in two minutes. His second bull charge gives you a larger window for the yeah, last 40 minutes. Long, man. You know how long it takes just for 10 minutes. So he simply dodged out of the way the first one to wait for it. And then he has a right like a uh, commentary. Like, yeah. like, uh, he was able to get stars and use them in round two. He's and since Bull 2's yeah. health was weak each time he got up, he was able to finish him yeah, off. Bubble two. Fight eleven was Don Flamenco two. This pattern for the first minute and a half is to throw straight and abs over and over. Everyone so Sinister simply uh, blocked charge. each of them and countered the pace of three uh, hops. He intentionally got him to low the hop and then he and then waited out the rest of the round. Since he didn't have time for a TKO in round one, blind. he was going to get three knockdowns yeah. in round two instead. <laughs> and round two is very simple yes. too. He yeah. threw a punch, yeah. Don countered, and he dodged out of the way to hit him with face jabs. Rinse and repeat for the first two knockdowns. He then intentionally got knocked down himself because when he got up, well, I guess Don like, 2's pattern was to do this. I guess, I don't know, who he started or something. He's tired. <laughs> well, he probably would even allow that. Well, sometimes he do. It depends on the situation. But, uh, 11 fights down. He had blown any of his previous runs out of the water, and the crowd was amazed as to how he was doing it. There were only three fights left in the game, so he's on first of which is Mr. Sandman. Hey, Mr. Sandman. Mr. Sandman. He's, he's tricky. Uh, I think without looking, you'd have to block most of his... Uh, his jabs that he starts off with the, the fight with. Sandman is all about speed. Rolling jabs. If you don't know the, exactly when you have your eyes, you can see out, the, he rolls his, uh, his back yeah, you're gonna get hit hard. So and Most of his rolling jabs in the first 50 seconds come out at the same time every time you fight They give you a lot of Sinister uh, still had some trouble counting all of them. Each, each fight gives you at a minute and a half into the fight, Mr. Sandman did his first Dreamland Express. He stands in place, then at a random point unleashes three really fast uppercuts. I think the least hard is if basically I'm, uh, had to just guess when to start dodging, is, uh, and he ended up getting hit. Yeah, I think in round two, the same man does a Dreamland Express and, uh, every time he gets up from a knockdown. By punching him twice in the face, then dodging left repeatedly, Sinister was able to lock in a timing that was usually able to clear him out of three punches. Each time, he was rewarded with being able to punch him in the stomach. So, Wolf says Sandman is hell. That was just about all he needed to take Mr. Sandman down. He's actually, you know what, I'm not embarrassed to say it, he's actually my, my toughest opponent in the game. Uh, oh yeah. I was doing a KO challenge recently, and uh, he's actually really really difficult to KO. Uh, some people thought it was impossible to knock everybody. him out uh, 10 Last seconds, year, or keep him down for 10 seconds, but in the game. it requires now, a certain kind of knockdowns. Uh, so it's not just the second to last two knockdowns per round that's going to do it, it's like a certain man. kind of knockdown. It's really stupid. Mark was fast, strong, and had a wide variety of knockdowns, including the mini spin. This punch comes uh, out at a random time and takes off about half your health. It can't all be contact. his midnight sleeper. But the so one nice thing about Macho was the delays between his punches okay. were yeah, usually very right similar. Right. Sinister could dodge a punch, okay, right now, hit him a few so times, one is then on, wait a brief uh, moment before dodging again, yep, that was and the usually big fight. getting punched. He was able to record a knockdown a little over a minute into the fight, but then got tagged by one of his punches and got knocked down. And in this brief moment, he knocked him down once, he got knocked down once. He described as a game changing still. Instead of getting up event. right away, he elected to wait to get up on a nine count. Okay, so you want the to get the before you yeah, nine. Oh, but he screwed up. Loss. In he didn't get up at nine. Punch out, he, you're he, able he, to he, get up after a knockdown by pressing A and B sure? on the controller Wait, repeatedly. Sure. If you do this right away, oh, they're just talking about how it says one yeah. and get a lot of your health back. However, the punch out programmers put in a little secret when you get up. If you get up when Mario says 9, instead of getting up with 20 of your health, 
your health will be completely replenished. Yeah. Well, against Dyson, and, and, and I watch you to Dyson so many times. Yeah. 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 You yourself have full health, they will automatically have a KO challenge that has you up at 9 to have full energy. However, the next one on my account, especially if it's just doesn't work, is it's limited. If you're off by just one number and get up when Mario says, and a million people watch it, you'll be counted as knocked out in the fight with the OE. In fact, when Sun Tzu was doing an offline practice in the weeks leading up to this round, he specifically wrote his notes to never attempt getting up on a round count. He's got a lot of followers. He would have had to rely on counting Mario's weeks as he had a blind move on. While he was Most already speed. under enormous uh, pressure from having made no, it this far in the game, uh, while a crowd of nearly 100,000 people was watching so him, all while knowing that a wrong. single mistake getting up would end the run. So fast I'd be meaning it came on after? Moment, yeah. That's right, yeah. It preceded it, but it had more views, I'm pretty sure. It had more views, yeah. Mario Kart 64 is very popular, so it's just more people. It was more casual. Which is more casual players, Daniel. Yeah. Whereas Tyson... Tyson has a good... He got out of full health players, and continued but, uh, fighting Super Mario. Uh, when he knocked him down again later in the round, because Sinister One had full health, Macho got up with far less health than he otherwise would have. And this small health already, refill left sure. Sinister with just one enough time way, to knock him down third and final yeah, time uh, before goes the first round is even complete. Hmm, actually... Alright, how many times can you use it? You beat him up though. Okay. How many times can you use it? depends, yeah. If you get off uh, the first knockdown, I think you usually have full energy. But, uh... You do it again, what? Sinister had just yeah, beaten 13 less, fights and Mike Tyson's punch off life while he live at AGDQ. Largely using strategies to use comfort in the saying that the yeah. place was nine, it made the opponent's energy different. Of course, That's what he's there was still one fight remaining. Okay. Like Mike after Tyson. he would knock him down, but Sinister explained that he basically had no like chance at all of defeating Mike Tyson blindfolded. Not just at this event, but probably ever. Sinister's explanation that he gave the crowd before fighting Tyson blindfolded yep. was something along the lines of this. Mike Tyson's punches, at least for the first minute yeah, knock of the fight, down. all knock you down in one hit. And as mentioned earlier, getting knocked down three times in a round is easy. Each of these punches has four possible yeah. delays. That's, that's where I got my inspiration to do a zero the delay, a one delay, challenge on April 1st, because in the game, that's, 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 that's when Tyson, uh, sorry, that's when Little Mac uh, becomes the champion over the Russia on April 1st. I said, well, might as well start on April 1st. I look like a fool with a blindfold on and make myself look like a fool for That's why I did it. Today's April 1st. You did it in the 30th anniversary of that. would obviously involve his astronomically small. Oh, and then somehow figure out a way to deal with all the randomness in the following yeah. spots. You like the odds of no, you did it later later later. Later. No, earlier. Earlier, later. so it wasn't and 30 and years. Sure enough, before, that's okay. Tyson, yeah. he was beaten within the first 90 seconds. But regardless, to this day, AGDQ 2014 yeah, blindfold to punch out lives on. The fact that you got there was, was incredible. I mean, uh, I, man. I just, I just, just was like, well, I mean, I know he can do it if he got that far. Why doesn't he just keep doing it? That was my my whole thought process. And, uh, and as a quick side note, my goal the next to get schedule run in AGDQ 2014 <laughs> was for Zaller one to attempt playing super punch out. Zaller one is uh, showing the super punch while blindfolded as well. He did it right after that. Imagine how daunting he did the whole game. He actually did it. The whole game. He did it. Yes. Well. Uh, Let's just say Zallard one he did a pretty good job. Bunchard blindfolded guys, crazy. I mean, uh, it, and the crowd went nuts. Yeah, it's <laughs> epic, epic moment. Yeah. So Zallard one is also a big inspiration for me. Uh, I wouldn't have started doing this stuff either because he, he proved that he could do the whole game. So that was so, the inspiration. That was the last guy that did much trouble. Sinister had proven to well, the world that getting to the first like, full house like fights was really hard, impossible. Yeah. Yeah. But defeating Mike Tyson, to beat him. that was a different story. Yeah, so I was very probably persistent. the greatest uh, Mike Tyson working on, if you guys don't know, so punch out the Wii uh, version, he's going to do it blindfolded at Summer Games done quick this, this year. That's crazy. So, that actually got in, uh, got accepted. Wow, wow. But eventually, <coughs> he's going to try one to try to that notion. He's going to punch out, his name is punch out on the Wii. He's going to punch out the Wii. Triple threat. You know what you could do to top everybody? What? It's to actually fight Mike Tyson in real life blindfold. Well, I mean, I, I saw him. I wasn't blindfolded. <laughs> oh, it's you. The Tysonator is one of the most prominent punch out players in the early 2000s. Oh, becoming the first person in the world to TKO Mike Tyson in round one on the North American Persian division. With his well, eyes open. I don't know about that, Gar. Being the first for years after that, he one, didn't do too much work uh, in Mike Tyson. Ever? I mean, the world's a big place. After watching the line for it, no, no, he was oh, saying just round one. He became inspired to try to do it. The world's a big place. I'm sure people have done it before. I did before <laughs> video recording, all that. But 
Technically, whatever, Daniel, you're, you're, you're too humble. You always say that. By default, if, you can say that about anything. Someone could be faster than Usain Bolt, but he might be in, like, every single you know, in a place where there's no technology or something. The shortest one you know what I mean? But as of now, you're the, the first recorded. He showed your, he showed your uh, sword thing. Uh, oh, yeah, I remember that. When I, was, like, when I had the yeah. point yeah. yeah. in round two. But the fact that he okay, wait, made that he so yeah, often was nice miraculous. I was the first player to find that first. Yeah, well, I was here proving that it was Since Strowman's explanation, he gave it AGDQ was so it's actually a life thing for you and For most of Tyson's punches, so he only has two yeah, possible true. delays. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, DMR is a big inspiration for me too. Short delay. Definitely. Awesome. These timings can vary player. between punches, yeah. so sometimes and it seems I, I like more than just two for each. Because I saw but for the most part, you're either going to get a short delay or a longer one. So, the Tysonator is only playing 50 50 or better off. Yeah, I've said one's t shirt there. Yeah, that was the one's shirt. Sure. Because I was. Uh, Throwing enough attempts at it. Well, he was trying to inspire him to do the whole game. Fight after fight, fight of getting to round two. I was doing his challenge in the first place, guys. Pretty pretty good. Good. But, uh, but nothing that knocked you down in one hit. And he could do it too. How come he didn't really practice after? Like, I'm sure he could do it. He would listen for punches at the start of round two. Then counter in the gut. Yeah, I got that the time. Hooks came out. He said he was kind of defeated. He was defeated. He just felt like. Like the odds were against the stuff, uh, so uh, so you're like, no, he often man. threw two quick uppercuts yeah, in a row, to, which could be countered for a lot of damage. But, uh, in round three, I have a funny story. No punches for a few seconds. Cells, obviously, not going to say about this, but quick jabs <laughs> so when I was practicing, which could again be uh, before I, I beat Tyson the first time. With mental yeah. notes like these, a blindfolded, the Tyson uh, was able to see with me. I mean, I couldn't see anything, but he was able to make it deeper and deeper into the fight. It's a K-pop, right? Oh God! What? That was the first time. Yeah, no, that was when I was practicing, like the day before I did it. Uh, I was practicing in the room. So I was, I was playing in the dark, basically, well, blindfolded, and doing a dance action. rehearsal thing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, so I guess Gar gave me some motivation too. And I was, uh, the, music, <laughs> the music pumped me up. I did it. Really? Uh, a little bit after that, yeah. Did, did it? Maybe. You didn't even know what was going on. Well, I was blindfolded, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it's so, better that way. It's where they are right now. Yes. Oh, in the distance, yeah, it's over yes. Now you know where you are. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> you hear yourself now. HC Games, yeah, it's so loud, man. I know, I am loud. 27 years after the why is Daniel release, blindfolded? Is every fight that Mike takes his punch out had verified well, I don't know about that. I mean, now or? It's April Fool. It's probably talking about now, yeah. It's possible Tyson would be beaten by this one. I haven't seen, I've already seen this video. The first time so I, I haven't seen it blindfolded. Even because he can't see it when you're blindfolded. So that's why I'm doing it at the beginning. But we'll see if I have time to be able to show that. And then Warwolf says, LOL, I doubt it. I think the Power Glove wore him out on Challenger. Yeah, that was, that was not fun, guys, the Power Glove. Wait, a War Wolf? Is this someone that's copying? Yeah. Hey, War Wolf, what's up? War Wolf. Oh, sorry. Was that, <laughs> was that you? Yeah, that's my sorry, headset. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, he's like, what are you doing, man? man? Sorry, man. You're punching me? No, you're in my way. <laughs> I'm in your way, I'm sitting here. You're, 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 you know your turn, right? So what, which video are we missing now? With a little more use, practice, though, I think you're Tyson Hater got really, really good KO? doing Tyson. You just knocked him out, actually. Oh, the KO, yeah. yeah. That was the hardest challenge, guys. Else. Doing the KO uh, took Tyson's forever, as Gar knows. I was here for like Eventually, 10 hours one time. The first minute and I failed all those hours, guys. The chain came in to send you home at like 10 a.m. Because Tyson, he can get up. If you're knocking on twice per round, he can randomly get up. So, in order to guarantee that he stays down, you have to get up with full energy. And then he can't hit you. You can do and then, a quick uh, if you knock him down time. without him hitting you, Listen then he stays down. That's, that's why I was so pumped one, and pissed off when he actually stayed down. As soon okay. as possible. I didn't really want to call you know, Tyson this a bitch, but I was upset in that moment, in heat of moment, and that's why I went off. So, as long as you can react fast enough to the early timing or a lack thereof, one thing that Summoning Salt did not mention, and I wanted to bring it up to the guard knows this, we had a customer by the name of Millie, and Millie actually inspired me to use a strategy against Tyson in round two. So basically, I was there, bro. Him. So, so Millie doesn't know how to do the quick dodge in Mike Tyson's punch out, but he's able to beat Tyson because he, he drains all his uh, hearts in round two. He just loses all his hearts on purpose, yeah. and then Tyson well, goes into a specific pattern did. each time. He'll uh, throw a hook 2015, and then an uppercut and uppercut, he yeah. so he's predictable that way. So I was using that in round two, and I mentioned it to Slumming Salt, but he did not he share that with you guys and just let you know that he chose to leave that out. And then came the shared here. I'm going to share here, so Millie, thank you. I'm going to punch her again, but... 
Oh, wow. But I was gonna say, uh, player another thing we didn't mention, uh, or that wasn't mentioned, Blue Jays guy. And how did oh, that's Jack Wedge. Oh, yes. Jack Wedge. Similar to so Jack Tyson Wedge later. was the first Jack person to beat the whole years. game blindfolded. He Achieving beat, world records back in the early 2000s. Uh, first, but then he took a game aside for a while. Yeah, I did meet him. But after watching the Tyson leaders blindfolded playoffs for which for months, and with quite a bit of spare time, he decided to try doing a bit of blindfold to punch out for himself. What he discovered in the course of that week, however, was a way to make blindfold to punch out way easier than anyone had ever imagined before. He implemented buffer strategies. And one more person, Steel Chambers. He's a really hardcore NES speedrunner. In punch out, and he was actually the third person behind Jack Wedge to beat Mike Tyson. Not the whole game, but he beat Mike Tyson, the third person, confirmed in the world. But he was not mentioned in the video. For example, he was sure that was on himself. He was kind of disappointed that he wasn't in the video. But Corey, I shouldn't have said his name, but Steel Chambers, you're awesome. Then keep it up, never give up, man. Automatically begin. Right, props. You can do this over and over again with different combinations of inputs. These people that weren't mentioned, and actually, Sunring Saul now himself he beat this game speedrun? blindfolded. Well, and he beat Buffer Tyson faster than I did later on, but he did not even share that in his video. Time. So, there you go. On it's glass very uh, humble, I guess. And, uh, yeah, he did. Not not did. By buffering 22 face pushes, then two right gut punches. Then two well, left gut punches. I don't know if Either the last or second to last to give other people a little, you know, always make last show yeah, during that four frame window. Depending on the last show's pattern. This is because if all, uh, buffered, oh, yeah. they yeah, the all these punches are properly buffered, they will all be thrown on the first possible frame each time. So this series of punches will take the exact same amount of time every time. Last show can easily be knocked out at 42 seconds every time this way. As soon as they discovered by Talon 1 in 2013, Oh, he just beat up last show, right? For a blindfolded speedrun, these rules all still apply. Away the necessity to see what's happening on screen. Says, uh, you can buffer a bunch of inputs so together to and not need to worry about manually timing your dodges or punches. Yeah, seem like, uh, Jack Wedge took this to an extreme yeah, and figured out buffer strats for a bunch of different fights. So in the, and in the run, we didn't get there yet, but apartments on people January are expecting something to say that he's going to be the player to like, you know, take it to the next level that he mentions you can buffer a face punch, then three left dodges. The third one will automatically dodge you out of the way of a jab. And Pap. Then, you buffer seven. Seven more face punches, a world record, uh, hesitate and then dodge, then buffer a face punch and a star punch. Von Kaiser will always be knocked so out with Jack the first to it. The whole game blindfolded, These strategies got complicated, and it took a ton of memory. Like Bald Bull 1, yeah, for so example, you needed to you did adjust your buffer I, based on the punches of your Bull Pro. But some provided a huge benefit. This and Honda 2, for example, had a buffer strategy that guaranteed hitting the 4 frame window at 1 minute for the knockout. Armed with these strategies, Jack was casually Actually yeah, making his way through the game, I mean, they not only defeating yeah. everybody who <laughs> dared. Jack Wedge him. unfortunately could not make it. So that would have been. It was supposed to be a, originally a three-way race, but uh, he could make it. That would have been cool. But he did stream it from I think his location while they were doing uh, their run, so it's kind of cool. I don't know if he if he got a faster time than they did, but uh, I think I don't know. He might have. I'm not sure. But when you're in the actual room with all that, you know, crowd yeah, what and Jack had up his sleeve for the pressure is absolutely brilliant. Harder. He had yeah. a buffer strategy that basically yeah, guaranteed he would survive with one hit up or Yeah, I'm not sure. Where's the uh, Bruns, uh, Beanie and the Buffer punches to lose stamina. Yeah, yeah, like, then, when Tyson did get knocked out of through, he would dodge out of the way and hit him, then lose the rest of his stamina. Tyson always throws punches at a regular interval when Max is So Jack just buffer dodges to get past them. But knowing Daniel, you gotta all believe. The yes. always the Rinsed and repeated yep. until the Don't minute and a half was up. Yeah. He didn't do much damage to Tyson, <laughs> but he was always the whole time. You have to uh, in rounds two and three, you know, you have battle hurt against Tyson. Tyson. And they, they they otherwise, the strategies didn't help much. Because Tyson's yeah, pattern was just too right. Maybe we should just Jack's game bring it to their adjustment in the end. Yeah, I'll talk like this. Yeah, you must terminate the past and prunes. Okay, I want to see you put them in the pass and cream. Come on, do it, pass and crab. He beat Tyson by decision. Yeah, that was his, yeah. It's, it's funny For that we both beat Tyson ever, by that. Uh, someone had verified the beaten Mike that Tyson's kind of punch out from so start to finish happy. without yeah. looking at the Sitting screen. On his chair. He cut his Jack uh, uploaded his, the video to YouTube, I was, I was hoping and a few days later, he had like it had gone viral with hundreds of thousands of views. The world was taking notice of what people could do with the blindfold on. I don't remember, it was like 14 years In true speedrunning like, fashion, he, the point of the punch-out turned to how fast he cut it off. Why he cut it? I don't know, he kept my... 
Uh, my, uh, what's it called? Pop off against Tyson, the KO, for some reason, I guess, because I kept saying bench and stuff, but... Cut off the dark wedge there a lot. Back to you, Zach. He had to hit 11 frame-perfect punches with his eyes closed. Oh, he's talking about the round one. Oh, you did the... You were first to do round one. Yeah, that's what I told That was a very shocking moment. If you guys can tell, I was laughing a little bit there, because I didn't expect it to happen. It's a crazy punch-out against each other live. It didn't even happen. So now this is, uh... The odds in getting two players to beat the whole game blindfolded live in front of tens of thousands of viewers seems to remember. Simpson 1 versus Allard? Yeah. But the punch yeah. community came together Please. to help figure out as many consistent strategies as possible. Hey, they're pretty close. Sinister, Zallard, okay. Jack, even a certain YouTuber Simpson about approximately nine subscribers. Simpson 1's at Bombo, and Zallard 1's at Soto. Yeah. I was, uh... So was uh, at one point, I think... Many of these strategies were small buffer changes, or a listening had to read. It wasn't because of Sandman. But unfortunately, what happened was, uh... Mike Tyson in particular Since didn't know how in order to get you know, the best odds possible the point, beating him so live at the event. He wasn't doing that well against Zalor was able to do so in round so two and won the But Sinister was running out of time to finish him off in the second round. If the fight made it to round three, one, one. he probably would have lost because he was a ridiculous rain on this in the third round. He purposely lost against Dr. Lawson too. Could have had it, man. They are both at Tyson. He had a 60th of a second to time it in order to get a star and finish Tyson off. Yeah. I was really happy that at least Sinister won, you know, he regained himself, he did it in front of everybody, he did the whole game, and uh, even though he didn't, yeah, beat Zallard, I was, I was happy that he, he did the whole game still. Obviously, I, I would have liked if he did, you know, race, if he won the race. Sinister won set a world record okay. for the beating. How long, is, how long does it take to get to the game? Uh, 21 minutes and 30 seconds. So if you think it's speedrun, regular, uh, real time, it's probably like... Then, oh, like the blindfolded like craze died down yeah, for a while, with the only active player being Beat Tysonator, who did some Mike Tyson Actually, no, so real time probably a bit more. I'm probably thinking of the speed all the time. But, uh, and then, in 2018, time, one of the top players something. in the world decided to see what he could do with the blindfold. He'd been playing eyes open like, for years, the, the, and achieved top about, times in all player. categories he tried. But with the blindfold on, it was a different story. This player was Empath. Yep, he's from Australia. In April 2018, Empath did his first serious attempts to punch out blindfolded after Wait, having practiced a bit in the days leading up to it. What do you mean? Is it On just his seventh ever no, attempt, same game. he yeah, beat Sinister no, One's world record by no, 14 like seconds. I mean, I don't think he's playing the foul version. Uh, it's over. I fucking got <laughs> But he did it. He beat uh, Sinister One's time at the time. <laughs> So Not satisfied with that, he decided to keep them for an offer. He still holds the record He had a today. couple of new strategies he had developed to assist oh, him. Yep, he was trying to, to set up a faster knockdown for King Hippo by listening for Hippo to open his mouth multiple times at the start of the fight. If he got lucky, he could beat him in under a minute, as opposed yeah, to Empress closer is, to two minutes. He's a fantastic player, uh, he doesn't have and as on much, Tyson, I don't know. He set up he a much attention that worked in certain players, patterns of Tyson. He's probably going to start later, unfortunately that's the way it works, even with me. This once again is a solid half minute faster in game time than he's going to be He's a great player. He's By using still, those new strategies, still relatively plus young, getting better like consistency and not getting punched, still, so, uh, yeah, he was able to lower the record repeatedly over the following month. Yeah, it's also not really maybe the stream in the end. Ah, that was more than that. <laughs> he just beat Tyson. And he got a brought the world record down. Because he's trying to do it in 27 seconds. No. Which is where it's still I don't think he's done that yet, but he's, he's got 2027. The final time, however, yeah. could do something is how yeah. far blindfolded punch out has come. The community went from struggling to make yeah, it halfway through some the some game in a live marathon to beating it only two minutes slower than can be beaten when it's open. It's possible to narrow that gap by beating Tyson in round one at the end of one of these runs, but that's going to be a challenge for the future. What once sounded like a little more than a dream has now become a reality. Gone are the days of needing to win the lottery to beat Tyson blindfolded. In their place are competitive speedruns to beat the whole game blindfolded in 20 minutes. There's not many games that have been beaten blindfolded. Really good, but yeah, based on what's happened with yeah, Punch Out, yeah. maybe that's going to change. Thanks for watching. That was that my, uh, my mission, guys. My mission was to prove that. Uh, it's all fair. That Tyson could be terminated because that was what was holding people back for whatever reason. People just believe all oh, this Mike Tyson and he's an, you know, impossible. I can't beat this guy. Blindfold. Bullshit. You do it. All right. Just put in the time. All right. Did it. Then terminated. The video's over, Daniel. All right. So what do you think? Yeah, it's pretty informative uh, documentary. I guess you want to call it. Yeah. Did the time fly? As I said. Yeah, it's it's over already, Daniel. Yeah. Over. All right. Well. Uh, what do you guys think? If you hadn't seen it before, did you, did you enjoy it? Yep. <laughs> uh, let Daniel know. And
<laughs> well, let's let Sonic Salt know. He's, uh, he's his video. Sonic Salt. Yeah. Yeah, let him know too. But uh, I guess I can take this off now since uh, it's over. <laughs> wow. Just, uh, How's that, Daniel? How's that doing the documentary? It's very bright right now, jeez. How's, uh, how's doing that line for it? It was interesting. Uh, I could hear everything, kind of. It was really low. The, the volume was very low. Like, it was better that you were blindfolded. Was I off camera? I can't even tell. No, you were on. You were just on. looking at me. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. You thought you were looking at the screen? I wasn't sure where I was anymore. Okay. That's why you, I said you were punching me and stuff. <laughs> Sorry. That's why you hit me in the head. You, said, you think I was blocking Sorry, you? Sorry, man. He's, he wants to punch me out. All right. Now Balto's blindfolded. Uh, War Wolf. No, I I did the first level and uh, uh, Wiz Wario also in this. He's in the stream right now. He also did it in the first level. It's not easy. Not much, not many sound cues in the first level, but also we did it. Um, uh, Mexican Runner did the Turbo Tunnel. The whole he did it without dying actually, which is crazy. He did uh, the. Oh wait, Dana. What oh, Daniel? He did the whole part. Uh, am I am I still on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the whole part. Uh, without dying, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, so it is, I'm, I mean, it could be possible, but it'd be pretty damn hard. Hey, Sally, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can see earlier. Obviously, oh, I guess we will uh, learn from this uh, video. Yeah? yeah. You were the first one that you saw doing it, man. Me? Well, you were the first. Well, to, to beat be, Tyson. To beat Tyson, yeah. yeah. That's what my nickname is. Oh, you uh, didn't know who started uh, trying it. Yeah. Okay. But now you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, I, I'm sure people have tried it. You know, just just for fun, right? Back in the day, even in Japan, apparently some some kid beat Ninja Gaiden blindfolded. Really? In some mag magazine, Famitsu, they said. Did they, did they film it? No, but they claimed was that it they. Back could. in the day. Yeah, nineties. So Jeez, I want to see that kid. It's possible. I mean, it's anything is. Now. You have the time. You have infinite continues <laughs> in the game, so you know as many tries you want. It might have taken forever, but he yeah, if he did persistent. it. Persistent. Pays off. Yes. Uh, so yeah, what else can we do, girl? Uh, I mean. I guess that's it really, we could just continue to talk about uh, <laughs> what, maybe the future of what you, uh... Well, unless, you they have, have, unless they want me to try to fight Tyson now, but I mean, uh... Blindfolded? I could try, I still keep, you, I still... Do I still, you have the game with you? I do, just in case, yeah. I, yeah. I, I have kept, you know, practicing, so right, I'm just trying to stay fresh, so I guess just... You know, this is one for the road. If I look like a fool, whatever, but uh... I it's for try. you guys. Try to do it. For you guys. I'm gonna set up the NES first, guys. I'm gonna start. Alright, so he's gonna set up the NES. I'm gonna try to set this up. I didn't expect this, to be honest. <laughs> well, yeah, so, true, because now I have to change the setup, man. Yeah, set up, man. Set up, yeah. Okay. Alright, bonus uh, yeah, blindfolded Tyson. Alright, Tyson fight. Commemoration. Oh, and then yeah. that would be the end. Yeah, I think that's the way it ended. Daniel, uh, you like this stream, Daniel? Well, you I like mean, this? the volume was very low, so that's why I was. I figured we should just talk because uh, yeah. people have seen the video anyway, most likely. So yeah. Yeah, they're, they're curious to see what, you know, what we have to say. And, uh, Coming out of retirement, that's what uh, Wolf said. No, I, Was this the new controller? No, I, I, no, it's not the new controller. I haven't retired, don't worry, Warwolf. I still play. Uh, Daniel's bringing his own controller. He's not using ours because he needs <laughs> his, <laughs> his special feel. Well, I don't know. I just. You I know put, how it works? I put a yellow sticker on there just so I identify as. as you know as how it is. Uh, Sometimes you think your own controller feels better than you know, someone else's. No, the D pad is the, is the reason. Yeah. Exactly. Not every D pad is the same, unfortunately. The NES is one of the worst controllers ever made, guys. It's not comfortable. Uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's pretty it's bad. Simple. It messes up when you don't want it to mess up sometimes, but uh, Let's see if it works, Daniel. No, yeah, we'll see if it works. So I'm gonna turn around, guys. Because yep. uh, usually we set up the camera in a certain way, but it's okay. I'll just I'll just turn around so you guys know that. Uh, I'm tangled up now. Tangled up, baby. Yeah, I am. I gotta make sure the volume is good. I'm here. I'm here for you. Make sure you're not cheating. <laughs> yeah. Alright, one. Oh, that's <laughs> loud. Hold on. Daniel. That's too loud, guys. Hold on. Oh, it's good, it's good. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. Alright, guys. Let me know if it's too loud. Uh, I don't think I can hear guys. me right now. Can you hear me? I got him off. Can you hear yeah. me? Am I on? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but I can't hear myself. I can hear you. Yeah? You're good. Okay. Let, let us know if the audio's good, guys. If it's too loud. Right. Let me know when you want me to turn on the, the recording. Oh, it's not recording? What do you mean? <laughs> We're recording. What are you talking We're about? We're just gonna play, play it back. I'm just kidding. Alright. Alright. Let's see if I can enter it. It's live action Daniel. Oh, I missed it. Um, come on, man. You're rusty. 
Okay, I won't say anything. Uh, that's a bit low, but uh, maybe a little bit more. Tell me. That's good. Is that loud enough? Okay, I'm not gonna say anything. There you go. It was the music. It's hard to enter it with the music because uh, it's too much sounds going on. Alright, let's do it. Hopefully, Tyson gives me a good uh, pattern to start off. Bad guys, sorry, I missed a lot of punches there. Jeez, sorry about that. Ah, that was bad. Not a good start, guys. Start with that. You got this. Well, I have not streamed this in a while. It is, yeah, it is different like when you actually record the sound in the speaker. But no, 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 no. We have a new poster. Got this, Daniel. You got this. Hope so. <laughs> Sometimes he doesn't go down with three uh, stars. But oh, right. yep. Very random oh. game. That's no, no, I'm just, they, they told sure? me to ask the back, and I figured you were the person in the back who was most knowledgeable about. Are you sure it's not in, the, in the one of your drawers? Uh, I'll, I'll go look. Because uh, I think that's where you're from last time. Sure. Oh, I straight up just grabbed the money. I saw that. It's like, you're very like. Yeah, it's good. Mr. Man, hasta la vista, Mikey. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Well, sorry guys, that was a pretty bad fight. But no, uh, man, you did it. You guys. <laughs> there you go, guys. For you. Just for you. Great fight, Top Mac. Never should those things be before. The fight bit. He doesn't right. say that in the, in the game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, that is it. That is it. Well, not bad for one try. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. I, uh, I mean, at least you didn't get I had a out. very sluggish fight. I, I kept missing up uh, on the uh, delayed punches. He kept blocking them. The legend continues. Daniel. All right, guys. Well, the legend continues. <laughs> Kung Fu. I guess. All right. Well, it's good to be back, guys. I know it's been a long time since I don't, I don't stream regularly, but um, I'm hoping I can maybe change that. Oh my God! You're actually coming back. We'll see. All right. You hear this, guys? We'll see, guys. Breaking news. But I still have to finish some videos. I'm working. I've been working on videos offline. That's why I haven't. Uh, I've uh, been, been online as much, or been active as much, I should say, but I still play, just offline. He misses you guys. You miss them? Well, apparently some people miss me. Yeah, I don't know why. They're still here for you, man. <laughs> you gotta, you know, they're here for I you. I don't know Daniel. why, guys, but, yeah. Yeah, to me, you don't know why. Just stop being so it's modest. So people love you, Daniel. Alright, well, happy April Fools, guys. <laughs> uh, That's not a joke, right? Oh, what? what? That's what you just said. No, it's April not a joke. Fools. No, it's not a joke. I, I, I am thinking of, of coming back, but oh my god, I do want to finish some videos first. Uh, my friend in the states, Owen Johnson, I, I send the uh, well, Gar doesn't like VHS footage, and uh, I, I send him <laughs> a lot funny. of VHS footage of games. Uh, I, that it's it's not that I even it's not that I don't like. It. I don't even know. I don't even have the thing to convert it. That's true. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> no, I put it on a DVD. Oh, you put it on I, a DVD? I convert it. Yeah. Oh, it's up to you. But it's okay. Owen, 
I, I've been doing this as a, tra as a tradition since 2007 when I first, before I started working at ANC and uh, So you still do VHS? So I still send them some VHS stuff, I've uh, done some compilations of, you know, games that were not covered yet. I like doing, you know, endings that haven't been shown yet, so I do things like that, so I work your hard on that, and then once I'm done with that, I'll be back. Can you record that on DVD though? There's lag. So I used a DVD recorder that Garg uh, gave it to me, but it has lag, so I did Super C, no hits, no items, with the lag. It was really hard, but I did it, but it's not fun. Where if is I, it? Where if I play this game with lag, it's not. It's going to be even harder. Where's the video it. for that? I still have it, but I, I'm going to send it to Owen. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know, I mean, unless we could always like get you like something to just record it off of. Without, uh, without I, the lag. If I use this TV, if, uh, I guess because it has the video on the side, yeah. you can do it, but mine doesn't. It only has it on the back, and okay. you need it on the side or the front. Are you sure? Yeah, I think that's what it is, because my TV only has it on the back. It doesn't work. So you can't set it up to where I, I tried the, the splitter, it doesn't do it. It just no. makes a buzzing sound, it doesn't work. And you're, I, you're, not, you're, full, you're supposed to play it off the TV, not the VHS, or the DVD recorder. I'm pretty sure I put it properly. Yeah? Yeah, just the TV I have doesn't have the option. It doesn't make any sense, Daniel. You're supposed to be able to play it like this, and it just records it. Oh, I don't know. I, can't, I can't help you because it's at your house. Oh, Unless here, I come over. You can come by, I guess. But <laughs> want me to come by? I can come by. Well, not now. All right, tell me when you want me to come by. But All right, we'll figure it out. we got to make some videos. Yeah. It's been a while yeah, since you made an actual video for the NC. How many years has it been, actually, since you uploaded your last actual video? Mm -hmm. Minus these uh, streams. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. See? Maybe you should. Okay, maybe I go over and I'll, I'll just look at it. I've never been to your house, actually, really inside. Yeah, hey, one time. I had dinner, remember? Oh, at, yeah. After oh, the my God. Pure, pure owners, just, that was a really uh, long time ago. Yeah, screening, yeah. Okay, I'll come back one day. Right. Just let me know, Daniel, when uh, All right. Yeah. Use time. All right, guys. Well, uh, hopefully you have a fantastic April Fool's Day. Don't play any pranks on people that are, you know, vicious. All right? Don't don't have any ill will <laughs> to people, towards people. Yeah. And uh, hopefully nobody plays any bad, bad jokes on you. Just have yeah. fun and uh, joke around. In a good way, have a good laugh, but not at anybody's expense, don't, don't hurt people. Yes. Alright guys, so have a fantastic uh, week, I'm not sure if we'll be back, this might be our stream for this week, but we'll, we'll no, figure it out. Thursday. We'll, we'll, we'll see. It's a bonus stream. <laughs> we'll see what happens, guys. Lucky. Werewolf loves it. But uh, before we go, <laughs> thanks to everybody watching, so we got uh, Werewolf, 99CA, Werewolf. Is this, yeah, is this, this uh, April Fool's thing? Yes, yes. <laughs> is, there a, is there a real <laughs> Werewolf? Thanks guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, Are they uh, brothers? I don't think uh, they're brothers. They just happen to have uh, first uh, first na name, I guess, first three letters. Uh, <laughs> okay. so yeah, thanks, thanks to Stunning Salt again for uh, giving me the opportunity to contribute. I, I helped them. I sent sent them a you know I always write like essays, so I sent them a lot of information nice. regarding this blindfolded history. It made his job easier, he said, so he was appreciative of that. I just wish that he had included more stuff that I shared. That the fact that they even started was was because I wanted Sinister One to do the whole game. It wasn't It wasn't anything that I wanted to do, you know, the whole game. But I just wanted him to do it. So that that's that was the main uh, inspiration. So. Well, yeah, I think you've uh, accomplished that. Yeah. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic week. Make the most of it. Promise we'll be back, and we'll be back, guys. Peace. Miss ANC stream is at Yeah, yeah. Blindfolded. Actually, I can't see it. Can you do it? <laughs> do what? Do, do what? No, I'm um, gonna try to close it. <laughs>